All right, everybody, it's that time in the week when we have to find out what Matt Miller has been driving. <laughs> I'm super jealous about this one. So this is one that I think there's a huge market for an EV that's an SUV, like a family hauler EV. Totally agree. Um, and right now, the, the biggest problem is the price prices are so high, right? So I drove an extremely luxury version of the car. So let's preface it with that. Was right? it loaded up? Yeah, completely loaded. So I was driving the Mercedes EQS 580 4Matic SUV. It is so luxurious that when you get into it and close the door and you look around the cabin and you look down, it seems like there's an infinite amount of leather. Like herds of cows had to be used in making this. I'm so and sorry, cows. the way the interior is shaped, it's like it reminds you of a Riva speedboat or a Chris Craft. You know the wooden yeah, yeah, speedboats yeah, yeah. oh, that yeah. are on Lake Como? Yeah. And that that's on purpose. I talked to some Mercedes engineers and they said, yeah, that's exactly what we were going for. So um, that's what they want to do. Um, the thing is, Oh, we're showing pictures for everybody we're who's watching pictures, on YouTube and, and uh, our it's streaming. absolutely beautiful. Sorry, radio folks. The, the the focal point of the interior really is this massive um, center console, or actually, it spans from one door to the next, and it's all screen. Right. So the cool thing about that is when you say you're driving and I'm the passenger, and we want to put a new destination in this navigation. Yeah. You don't have to do it as the driver. I can do it as the passenger, and I do it directly in front of me. There's a screen right above the glove box. As the passenger. Rather than the center screen, right? Yeah. So I can input where I want to go on, above the glove box, and it'll pop up in the center screen. Um, you know, there are a million cameras inside. If you have a baby seat in the back, like a rear-facing baby seat, yeah. and you want to know what the baby uh, is doing. You don't you have to look see. in your mirror to another mirror that you tape to the uh, headrest in the second row. You can just look at the camera and see how your baby is doing. It is beautiful. So I, I like the lines. You I like it? don't love you like it? the way it looks on the exterior, huh. but to me it reminds me of, you know, these Arab palaces that you see in Cordoba or Granada or Ronda, okay. where on the outside, it doesn't look like anything special. And when you get in, you're just blown away by the beauty and the design. And that's, to me, what what uh, the first thing that struck me about this vehicle was. It's very um, kind of big in the front, though, right? It's, it, you know, typically of a Mercedes SUV, they all always, to me, look like hiking boots. Yeah. You know? oh, but that's this funny. one is yeah. much more smoothed out because they want to get a great drag coefficient. It's an EV. Um, they want to be able to get as much range as they can with... Uh, with the battery by the way 110 kilowatt hour battery makes about 536 horsepower and it has a range of um up to i think uh 630 kilometers so that's seriously yeah just massive range i haven't charged it all week yeah i've been driving it back and forth to work really i have uh, not been slow at all. You know, I'll give it the gas no, or really, what really? would be gas and isn't um, and uh, putting it in sport mode all the time. So the weirdest thing about this is what I know that theoretically I should be opposed to fake sounds and I am, I guess, in my heart. But in practice, I love the fake sound of an kind of an engine or something close to an engine when you're driving it. Listen, you can faintly hear it. I tried to record it. That sounds pretty, like, throaty. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so you can pick between a few different fake sounds. You can actually change it? You can change it. And I always had it on what they call a roaring pulse. And to me, it sounded, I couldn't tell if it was, like, the same frequency as a V8 or a V12. And yeah. I honestly felt like the powertrain really reminded me of a Rolls-Royce. You know, Rolls-Royce So as you this, put your foot on the... It's got a real heft gas, on the pedal. But you actually put your When you put your you foot on the it. pedal, it's got serious heft. Yeah. Cheaper electric cars are like golf carts. It's like either on or off. Yeah. But this one, it's a gradual acceleration um, that was really pleasing to people who love to drive big blocks. So I asked the Mercedes engineers, I said, did you do this on purpose? Did you make it sound like a V8? So they said... Um, Roaring Pulse, which is what they call the sound I like, yeah. is especially dedicated to bold characters who enjoy the reminiscence of big block combustion engines, but also associations of lions growling, thunder, and volcanic explosions were integrated. Okay, how many people spend time putting that together for you? <laughs> no, this was one German oh, engineer, oh. and I applaud his Wait, English. He I think he did a great that? job. He actually yeah, said that to absolutely. you? Absolutely. Oh, come on. So, you, 
I think it really mimics growling thunder and volcano. It explosions. mimics, you know, the big V8s of old that Mercedes yeah. put in their cars. It felt. I drove a Rolls Royce Ghost earlier this year, and it really Come on, felt bring it like. On. Bring on the sound, guys. There that, you go. Is that it? Over the RFK bridge. Oh. I mean, it's it's faint. It's not okay. loud. You know, it's not a muscle car, um, but it does really feel powerful. Full transparency, I've had three Mercedes, and what I do love about, I feel like these cars are engineered like no other. And there's just, they're solid, there's heft to them, um, to them, excuse me. But I mean, did you feel like all of that that you've seen in a traditional? Yeah, I mean, my so I had, uh, before I moved back from you Germany, had one, I right? had a Mercedes the G class, so the big boxy yeah, yeah. sort of army type wagon. Um, the one complaint I have about the EQS, which is their biggest and most luxurious SUV, is the same as you would have about the G wagon, although it's expected with that. It's very top heavy. Yeah. So if you're taking mm. a, a curve at a high rate not of so speed, great. it's not terribly confidence inspiring, but of course it's an SUV and they make a, um, a coupe version of this as well. They have a ton. In fact, I think Mercedes has the biggest offering of EVs among all of the luxury They're players. They're finally like rolling them far all Far more than BMW. Uh, they have far more than Audi, um, but this is really so. A, this a, one was loaded almost one hundred and twenty-six thousand dollars. Apex is, Predator. So yeah, is there a cheaper version? <laughs> sure, you can get. You know, Hannah Elliott. What, what's okay? Go ahead. Our reviewer, yeah. our car reviewer for Bloomberg Pursuits, she drove a couple of weeks ago the EQE. Okay, and they're sticking with the you know C E S nomenclature that they right. have with the gas engines, and she loved it. And it's uh, starts at seventy-seven thousand instead of. You know, one hundred twenty-five thousand. You can get the EQS for one hundred four thousand if it's not fully loaded. Um, There's but, no screen. No. But kidding. you know what? A BMW iX also starts at like ninety thousand. But do you think, as someone who's been covering the auto space for a long time, and you're seeing what's happening with the rollout of the EVs, that these prices are going to like this one hundred twenty-six will come down, or this is going to be it? So this is a loaded one. They will. Electric car prices will and are coming down. Mercedes makes uh, cheaper. EV SUV um, Audi makes an even cheaper EV SUV in the Q8 e-tron but this is the S class so know, this is supposed the, to be I know, I know. the most luxurious vehicle they make and you absolutely feel it when you get in can we hear that again guys do you got it for us the, the sound the acceleration Come on. the you roaring go out with it? pulse no I, I, you don't have the roaring pulse can you do it in your <laughs> 